Hi there, Bye Bye Granny here. It's women to talk to you tonight, men and women that are between the ages of 40-ish with that middle age spread on up to 50, 60, 72 like myself or even on up higher 80 if you are overweight. Nobody shoved that food in your mouth. Nobody made you eat that food. Nobody made you get fat. You did that all on your own. You did it to you. Yep. That's a flat honest truth. May hurt. May not make you happy. But it's true. Now what are you going to do about it? Are you going to order some program um, that causes, costs you hundreds of dollars a month? Are you going to order special food? Or are you going to take a bunch of pills? Take urine shots? Have your stomach stapled? Are you going to be that dramatic to lose the weight? I'll tell you, I have had heart attacks, strokes, fought cancer four times. I have died on the operating table twice. I am not a good candidate for stomach surgery to tell you the truth no and I have tried every diet that has come down the pike even those little tiny candies they sold in the 1970s called AIDS oh they were yummy but they didn't help me lose weight I've tried the cabbage soup the tuna to the tuna diet I have tried pills I have tried amphetamines I have tried all kinds of things. None of it helped. Not one bit. In fact, I always gained more than I lost. But this time, when I started in May, for some reason, I had a determination that I was going to stick with it. And that's all you really need. You need to be determined to have a diet that has enough variety that you don't get bored, you have to have enough fast results so that you don't get bored or depressed or upset because you're not losing anything or hit too many plateaus. You have to be on a diet that doesn't cause you to count calories or count carbs or count anything. Because you're going to have to do that all your life. You want to do that? Mm -mm, I don't think so. What you need is portion control. With liberty. And a chance to be able to eat anything you want. Within reason. And you need to eat balanced foods. You can't just do it living on pizza. Oh yeah, you could. But that's not going to help your body. You're... Your tissue, your skin, your bones are going to get weak if you're not eating balanced meals. Or at least spread out through the day being balanced. You need to eat rationally. And you need to push your plate or bowl or spoonful away. You need to have the control. Don't do it for anybody else. Don't do it because you want to look sexy for your husband or boyfriend or girlfriend. Don't do it because your parents are harping at you about, oh, you've turned into such a butterball. You know you're fat. You know when you're overweight. You know what your problem is. And you know you need to shut your mouth after you've eaten so much. And yes, it's hard. I'm not saying it's easy. I can assure you it is not easy. It's rewarding. But it's not easy. You're going to somebody's birthday party and you're having two bites of cake and two bites of ice cream and maybe a cookie. You're done. You need to stretch out those bites 
and play with your food. <laughs> you push it around your plate every time you couldn't think about it and not eat so fast. You want to pace your eating to those of your friends. So look at how much they're eating. Figure out halfway through that, you should only be halfway through your bites. That way you don't sit there and look like you're starving to death, watching after their food, wanting more and more, when you know you do. But you don't need to look like it. You're not some waif or some poor person sitting on a street corner starving. 90% of you who are watching this video have more than enough food in your kitchen cabinets. In fact, to tell you the truth, I've got over a year's supply of food for Grandpa and me, even if we were to both be eating every single day. But you know what? The truth of the matter is, I'm only eating a little teeny tiny portion about this big and about this deep in a cup. Four times a meal, four times a day, each meal, so that I can take my pills. Yes, I'm old and I've got heart problems and I've had strokes and I have no gallbladder anymore. I've had four hernia surgeries. I've got irritable bowels. I've got clone, Crohn's. I've got enough health issues to choke a horse. <laughs> I do. I might look good, but I'm still fat. I'll see it. I know it's true. There's nothing you can do to convince me otherwise. I see that old woman looking back at me in the mirror. She won't get out of my way. And she's got a fat little face. What am I to do about it? I'm to stop eating. Just like you are. You've heard the tips. You know this and that. And how to get rid of your fat. So, if you're watching this, and it's time for the fifth week sign-in for the free New Year's resolution challenge, then sign in below. I am on another plateau, but that's okay with me, because I've told you that before. My body's moving around, things are getting a little slower, and... I know I'm going to be losing the weight, and I know you can too. So if you're subscribed, wonderful. If you're not subscribed and you keep watching these videos, please subscribe so you know every time I put in a video. Give us a comment. Let us know what you think of the things that I tell you and that I share with you. And give us a thumbs up if you do like it. Anyway, did want to let you know, my hair is long, very long, very, this is my natural hair color. When I was young, I wanted blondish brown hair, or blondish brown, brownish white. Now it's pretty much white all over the three-fourths of it. And I've got natural curl. You can have anything you want, long hair, short hair. Bleached, colored, plain, and it's easy. But losing the weight, maintaining your weight, those are different stories, aren't they? Yep, you can look great from the neck up. But what about the truth? You need to lose the weight. And it can happen at any age. Get Dr. Alwyn Lewis's book, Why Wait Around, there's a whole ch two pages of charts in there, shows you people that were young and old who have lost hundreds of pounds, and you can too. I'll see you next week. Bye now.